Good afternoon. Today is March 21st, 2020. Um, today's media briefing on COVID-19 response in Buncombe County also includes representation from Henderson County. As we are all joined in the effort to stop the spread of COVID-19 throughout our region and nation, uh, we are joined today by Steve Smith with Henderson County Health Department. He is the health director for Buncombe, I mean, Henderson County Health Department. So today, we will be airing the, this live on the Buncombe County Government Facebook page through a Facebook Live event. After the event, the Spanish language version will be aired on the Buncombe County Health and Human Services Facebook page. The handle for the Buncombe County Government Facebook page is at Buncombe Gov. And the handle for the Buncombe County Health and Human Services Facebook page is at BCHHS. Today we have in the order, the agenda um, for today is Dr. Jennifer Mullendore, the Buncombe County Medical Director and Interim Public Health Director, Steve Smith, Henderson County Public Health Director, Dr. William Hathaway, Mission Health Chief Medical Officer, who will be joining us remotely, Taylor Jones, Buncombe County Emergency Services Director, and Fletcher Tove, Buncombe County Health and Human Services Public Health Preparedness Director. We reached out to our media partners to gather the most frequently asked questions in advance of this event and have tried to incorporate them into our talking points today. So at this point, Dr. Mullendor will provide an update. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Jennifer Mullendor, Buncombe County Interim Health Director. Earlier today, Buncombe County Health and Human Services was notified of test results identifying the first known case of COVID-19 in a Buncombe County resident. This morning, Buncombe County Communicable Disease staff contacted the individual, informing them of their result, and attained, obtained information on their close contacts and whereabouts during the time period of interest. The individual remains at home under isolation, where they have been since being tested earlier in the week. The investigation is actively underway to identify the source of this person's illness and to identify close contacts who are at risk of becoming sick with COVID-19. These close contacts will be notified as soon as possible and issued guidance on monitoring themselves for symptoms and when to seek medical care. As of 10.30 this morning, the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services website reported 184 cases of COVID-19 in North Carolina. This number does not reflect this new case identified in Buncombe County. Just days ago, the first known case of community transmission of COVID-19 in North Carolina was reported in Wilson County. During the coming week, we are expecting the results of hundreds of tests for COVID-19 that have been collected on Buncombe County residents. We anticipate that additional cases of COVID-19 will be identified in our county. We expect that some of those cases will be identified in individuals who did not travel to a highly impacted area and did not have close contact with someone known to be infected with COVID-19. The messages we have been sharing and the actions Buncombe County has taken over the past several weeks have been focused on preventing and minimizing the spread of this infection in our, in our community. It is critically important that everyone follow this guidance to protect themselves, their family and friends, their coworkers, their customers, and our entire community. I cannot emphasize how important these measures are. We must all do our part. The actions we all take matter. If you are sick, please stay home away from others. If you are over the age of 65, have a chronic health condition like heart or lung disease, or diabetes, 
or a weakened immune system, please stay home, away from others, as much as possible. Most people who become ill with COVID-19 develop a mild illness that can be managed safely at home. If you develop fever and cough or difficulty breathing, please call your healthcare provider or an urgent care first before going to the clinic. If you are critically ill, call 911 and tell a dispatcher what symptoms you are having. If you have general concerns about COVID-19, please visit buncombready.org. If you are a Buncombe County resident who does not have a healthcare provider and you have symptoms of COVID-19 and have questions and concerns, you may call a Buncombe County communicable disease nurse at 250-5300. I will now turn it over to Dr. Mr. Steve Smith, the Health Director for Henderson County. Thank you, Dr. Mullendore. I certainly appreciate the opportunity to participate with this session today. I hope the, the general public is aware that there are incredible um, relationships between public health uh, throughout the counties in our region as well as with our healthcare partners. For years, we have understood that communicable disease does not stop at the county line. So those partnerships have uh, generated a lot of benefit in terms of how we collectively address those challenges. The Henderson County Health Department was notified today at 8.58 a.m. by Mission Hospital that a Henderson County resident had tested positive for coronavirus. That individual is in isolation. Henderson County has been preparing for this reality and anticipated that our community would likely be impacted at some point. Public health staff have already initiated an investigation and will be identifying close contacts to contain the spread of disease. It's important for everyone out there to understand that the identification of a case does not change our local strategies for preventing and reducing the spread of disease. Above all else, Please isolate yourself at home if you are sick. Coronavirus symptoms include fever, cough, shortness of breath. If you experience these symptoms, please call your health care provider and follow their advice. If you are having a medical emergency, call 911 and inform the dispatcher that you have symptoms. And continue to remember that 80% of coronavirus cases uh, typically generate only mild symptoms. I do want to talk a moment about the amount of information that has been pushed out to the public in the past. It's a lot to digest and process, but I want to start talking today in a different way about those protective measures. You've heard things like wash your hands frequently, cough into your elbow, social distancing, those strategies have been paired with state level decisions, um, which create a lot of disruption, but necessary for things like school closures and now closing restaurants and bars. I think what's important to understand today with cases in our midst that all of the collective benefit of those strategies today will not achieve the maximum benefit for us today if people do not stay home while they are sick. If we continue um, to have to address a spread that can be prevented, we will be compromised, and I mean public health and our health care partners, in achieving the best possible outcomes. I want to be blunt and frank about this point, and, and I'm certainly directing this to my jurisdiction, Dr. Mullendorf. Um, I've been asking you about this and I've been recommending this, but today I am telling you to stay home at you if you are sick. This allows us to disrupt that transmission and have the best chance possible to limit the spread of disease and to protect our community. So thank you for your time and I will hand it to Dr. Hathaway, I believe. So. <coughs> Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Smith. 
Uh, and thank you, um, Dr. Mullendorf, for your very thoughtful comments. Uh, I want to echo as much as I can uh, the sentiments expressed of our need to uh, limit the spread of this disease and flatten the curve. Uh, we are confirming, along with the two county representatives here, that these patients uh, came through our facilities and received uh, care according to guidelines and the best practice uh, that's available. Uh, we don't comment in any more detail about their uh, status, uh, so uh, I'm sure you can appreciate that. Um, again, just to echo uh, the community-wide need uh, to be hyper-attentive uh, to uh, staying home and limiting contacts with other people to avoid transmission of this uh, virus throughout the community. That is the single most important thing that can be done for us right now to allow the health system, to, uh, both ours and others, uh, to accommodate the patients which we expect to see. I do want to say that this is not a day that we did not expect, and those of us who have been waiting the test results for some time uh, fully knew that some of them would be positive. I suspect we will see more positives in the immediate future as the test results uh, return. Uh, that um, is something that we've all been preparing for, and, uh, and with... Uh, a little bit of luck, we will uh, um, be able to handle this all together. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Taylor Jones, Director of Buncombe County Emergency Services. I've been continually impressed on how our community and staff has come together to serve our citizens during this rapidly changing pandemic crisis. Our county emergency services team and our first responders have been coordinating with the public health team to plan for this event. We are now actively engaging with our emergency operations center, neighboring communities, as well as our state and federal partners to meet the needs of Buncombe County in Western North Carolina. I want to take time to thank our leadership, the municipalities, the community partners, the Emergency Operations Center and its staff, and also the first responders for their efforts. They are providing our residents with vital services that will continue to support the health and safety of our community over the coming months. The community will see changes in our first responders and how they answer 911 calls. We will promote best practices to reduce the, the exposure to our first responders and to our most vulnerable citizens. We will be using more telemedicine solutions to free up EMS resources in our community with the goal of preserving emergency rooms and clinics during this crisis. Our EMS will only transport the most critical and acute patients. We ask our community to understand and cooperate with our EMS crews and our health care teams during this event. We recognize our community is facing trying times. But I am confident that our community will rise to the challenge. Our community should focus on the mindset of one bunker, doing our best to promote social distancing while using our technologies to outreach to our neighbors and our most vulnerable population. We're going to rise to this occasion to meet all challenges of this crisis. That is what North Carolinians and Americans do. We stand up and help our neighbors. I will hand it to Fletcher Tove, our emergency uh, preparedness coordinator for public health. Good afternoon. I'm Fletcher Tove, Buncombe County Public Health Emergency Preparedness Director. There are three points I want to emphasize today. First, 
the importance of next, the next few weeks in our response efforts. Second, the importance of following the guidance of public health officials. And third, how we're all going to get through this together. This is our first positive case in a Buncombe County resident. Our individual actions over the next few weeks are absolutely critical in preventing the spread of COVID-19 through our mountain home. This is a call to action. Everyone in our community is responsible and has a part to play in slowing the spread of COVID-19. Our best tools in this effort occur at an individual level. This means that you and your family need to be informed and comply with the latest guidance and direction from public health officials. Buncombe County Public Health is continually evaluating the latest guidance and data from experts around the globe to determine the actions that are best for Buncombe County. We are fortunate to have some of the most talented and capable emergency responders and healthcare professionals in the state, but they need you to help them in their response efforts. Right now, our most effective measures for slowing the spread of COVID-19 are staying home if you are sick, washing your hands, cleaning high contact surfaces, and keeping our distance and avoiding close contact. Social distancing is absolutely, absolutely critical at this time. But just because we need to keep our physical distance doesn't mean that we need to be socially isolated. This is a time for distance socializing. We often speak about how the threat of COVID-19 is unprecedented. But what's also unprecedented is the way in which we are uniting as a local and global community. This affects all of us, and this is the time to come together as one buncombe. Our county motto is people to match our mountains. We are strong, we are resilient. When times are hard, we always lend a hand, look out for those with less, and pool our resources to make sure our neighbors are getting by. Just as our mighty mountains provide shelter and a sense of calm, our community does the same in these times of need. Together, we will get through this. This is the time to leverage our technology, strengthen our bonds, and stay connected to each other. Even though we are apart, we can come together as one buncombe. Thank you. So that concludes our media update for today. Please check buncombecounty.org or buncomready.org for information on COVID-19 in Buncombe County. Again, that is the most reliable, up-to-date information on COVID-19 in Buncombe County. Thank you.